Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to keep a table in Google Docs from having rows split across pages. In this document that I use as part of a virtual workshop, you can see that this row has now gone across two pages and the same thing happens down here at the bottom of this page. It's now gone across two pages and information that I need is not directly with the other information that I can see on the page. It's very helpful to have the table rows not split across pages if you want to make sure that you can easily find all of the data for any one row. Now to keep a table from splitting across pages you need to make sure that the allow row to overflow across pages checkbox is unchecked. Now, if you're like me, you may never have seen this checkbox. I just very recently, as I prepared to make this video, found out where it is. And so to find it, you have to go to the Table Properties dialog box. And to go to the Table Properties dialog box, you have to first select the table that you want to change. And you need to select everything in the table that includes a row that you don't want to break across pages. So now that I've selected all of my table, I'm going to come up here to the toolbar and look for table options, but I don't see them, so I'm going to click on the more dots, and now here's my table options button. And when I click that, my table properties will open. And you can see I have a lot of categories and the one I'm interested in right now is row because I want my rows to stop breaking across pages. And once I click to open this arrow, there's the checkbox. Allow row to overflow across pages. No thank you, I uncheck it and immediately my rows adjust so that they no longer break across the pages. It'll make, me, make it a lot easier for me to read and find the things that I need to find. I can close the table properties box by clicking the X, unhighlight my table, and there are all my rows not breaking across pages. An alternate way to find the table properties a dialog box is to again highlight your table click on Format, click on Table, or hover on Table, and then slide down to Table Properties. And there they are again. 